Okay, what is your name is? Robert Sweet. Okay, and you are? Michael Sweet. All right, now right away, we're, we're going to have people at home across the country seeing that, seeing that on your on your T-shirt where it says, Jesus Christ rocks. They may think that's kind of blasphemous. Uh, how do you explain that you, do, I mean, do you think Jesus Christ rocks? Well, I'd say uh, I do know what the Bible says, and it says, make a loud and joyful noise unto the Lord. That's oh, what like he wants to do. Yes. <laughs> Had on the, this idiot Jim Barnett, who was talking about uh, his uh, uh, slam dancing, where people slam into each other and, and kill each other and kick each other. Tell me what you think about this slam dancing stuff. We don't. We don't go along. With I'm not even against slam. I don't think he is either. Who wants to bang into that's, each other? That's what we're against. It's kind of stupid, isn't it? Yeah. Now you are not into, you saw the hags on the show a, a little while ago. You guys are, are, are not into satanic music, are you? Not at all. Not at all. Now what do, you, what do you think about bands like the hags or Ozzy Osbourne and all the others who are in this real strong heavy metal, who are indeed uh, uh, are talking about satanic worship, drugs, and violence. Don't you think they are really uh, harmful to the young people of America. Well, I'll tell you, Wally, we think the music's great, the metal is just fine, but we cannot go along with the message. I, I, the, there's too many groups putting down God and holding up Satan. It is harmful to the kids. I say, I say, most heavy metal bands, not this band, I go along with Striper. I think they stand for what's really great. I've seen them perform. They're a good group. But I'll tell you, there are too many heavy metal bands in this country and too many punk rock and roll dish jockeys who are playing their records. And it promotes satanic worship. It promotes drugs. It promotes violence. And we should do away with it. Right? <laughs> a comment about a man that I think is a disgrace, Ozzy Osbourne. Give me your, your, your impression of Ozzy Osbourne. Well, I don't know. Well, I heard off stage he's not that bad of a guy. We don't know him personally, but uh, I don't know. We just can't go along with him upholding Satan. He no. says he does it as a gimmick, mm -hmm. but even if you do it as a gimmick, it's it's still causing harm. But have you heard the other gimmicks he does? He takes birds yeah. and bites their heads off on stage. Is that sick? <laughs> What do you think about it? And not only that, did you hear what else he does? I don't think it's too good, Ray. Well, I mean, this is ridiculous. Listen, yeah. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. This is an absolute truth. It was published in several national magazines. The other thing that I think is the worst thing I've ever heard of any rock performer, Ozzy Osbourne, at a couple of his performances, took some little puppies, live puppies, and tossed them into his audience and said to his fans, I want you to toss those puppies back on stage with their throats slit in 30 seconds or the performance will not continue. Now wait a minute. In 30 seconds, the puppies were back on stage with their throats slit. What about that? Now, what kind of uh, animal is that? See, that's what that's what uh, that's what Striper is against. We're against all that. We're here to make a stand for Jesus Christ. We feel that people need to come back to God. They need that. Yeah. And come back to good rock and roll because there's nothing wrong with rock and roll. With the music, it's what people are doing with it. With the sex, drugs, and rock and roll, we're against it. You know, we're against the sex and the drugs. Hey, and you know what? And I, I wonder if you guys agree with me. What you are saying is exactly what the president of the United States is saying. Yeah. I want to get your opinion off the cup. What do you think of the President of the United States, Ronald W. Reagan? I think he's great, and I hope he wins. Yeah. Now, do you, believe, do you believe rock performers have an obligation to their young fans around the country so that they can be some kind of an influence? Do you think they have some kind of an obligation? Some rock performers I've had, like the Hags, and even some rock disc jockeys I've had, who will remain nameless, who, <laughs> one of them right here in Los Angeles. Uh, I mean, there are some rock teams who say they have no obligation to their young preteen or teen fans. They have no obligation. What they do is tough. 
uh, even if they do promote Satan worship. Don't you think the rock performers and the disc jockeys who play them do have an obligation to their young fans? Whenever you're in the public eye, you have an obligation, just like you have an obligation to expose the wrongdoings and the evils in America. Yeah, which I you do. Yeah. That's, that's what we're doing also. Yeah, you are. Yeah. You are doing the part. They you must be so darn mad. When I have these liberal lunatics who write to me and say, Oh, you're a square. You don't like rock. Let me tell you this. I go with these kind of rock performers. They're great. <laughs> I know. Through your, your kind of music, what kind of message do you, do you try to pass along to the, to the people who listen to your music? Good news, really. Real good news. Um, we want to make sure everything is positive and good. God is positive. God is good. Oh, That's the bit, you know, how can you top God? You can't. So, um... If the hags are watching in the other room, you should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> yeah, boom, come on. You, you know, Wally, yeah. I think people are tired of, of hearing something bad, you know. I think people are tired of hearing something bad. You work at 9 to 5, you have problems, you come home. Why turn on the radio and hear something bad? Exactly right. No, why? All right, now, in it. now in a moment, we're going to come back and we're going to play a little of your music. Uh, you have a, a terrific cut on your new album which has a very positive message. We're going to hear that. And then we're going to take some, uh, uh, some questions and comments from our vast studio <laughs> audience. We're going to hear what they have to say and have them give their comments about heavy metal. Stay with us. We'll be right back, okay? with us and they say Jesus Christ rocks and I'll tell you don't think that that's blasphemous because as he said with a joyful noise right, that's right. terrific All right, but these are the kind of guys that I enjoy you know once in a while we have some positive people on the show let's hear it for these guys right? <laughs> What you just heard Striper saying a, f a few minutes ago reminds me of a letter I, I got in the mail just a couple days ago, guys, and, and you're going to enjoy this. You have two other members in your band, don't you? Yes, yeah. Who are out in the audience, they're good to yeah. see you. Okay, uh, listen to this. This is exactly what, you, what you've been saying. This is from a, a young man named Ken Tracy from Whittier. And he says, Dear Wally, I agree with you. Heavy metal is messing up the kids in America. I know. I was into that junk and it really screwed up my mind. I got out of it by getting right with God. How about that, huh? Isn't that great? Uh, now, in a minute, we're gonna, we're gonna have some people uh, from the audience get up and ask questions or make statements about their opinions about heavy metal and what it means to them and ask some questions of all of us. Right now, for a minute, I want you to hear just a little bit of a, of a, a cut from the Striper's new album called what? Yellow and Black Attack. Yellow and Black Attack on, yeah. on what label? Uh, Enigma. Enigma. On, uh, Enigma. And, and the name of this is called? This song is From Wrong to Right. From Wrong to Right. Listen closely to the positive lyrics. Here it is. Striper. <laughs> From wrong to right. Now that, let's go to the audience and bring some people up. Here's a, a, a young man who was on a little while ago, changed his jacket, <laughs> yet, 
Yes, Al. Uh, do you have a statement or a question to make? Well, both. Uh, being a guy who's actively uh, driven all these different heavy metal bands. Let me explain for those of you who, who, who just, just came in for the second half of our show that Al Bowman is known as the Rock and Roll Limo Man. Give a nice round of applause. Uh, he drives... Yes, sir, I'll go ahead. Uh, I've driven so many of these different bands, and uh, I've seen them conduct themselves very poorly uh, in, in the museum and, and act like a bunch of jerks. Yeah. And I want to say that these guys don't even drink alcohol, and they never spill a drop because they're never drunk or high on drugs. And I think they deserve a lot of praise for, for promoting a positive thing. Right, the youth of America. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. And your first name is... Yes, go ahead. Hi. Um, Your I first name is? My name is Vicky. Hi, Vicky. Hi. Go ahead. I used to be in a lot of band, uh, into a lot of bands like um, Black Sabbath and Rush. Black Sabbath? Oh, my God. <laughs> they're, they're worse than Ozzy Osbourne. That's the past, though. That's all right. What are you doing now? But as soon as I heard you guys, you really changed my interests, and I listen to you a lot. And I was wondering, um, why don't they play you on the radio too well, much? They do. I think uh, the radio stations are going to be playing a lot more, making a little bit more of uh, heaven on the radio versus... Hey, now. speaking of that, we are now negotiating uh, for a, a national Wally George radio show, and I'll play their music. How about that? <laughs> Your, your I'm name. My name's Mike. Uh, I'm the I'm a campaign member for the San Diego State uh, chapter for okay, Reagan Bush. Really like I'm not going to right now. Go ahead. <laughs> I just want to ask you guys, what do you think that your music uh, contributes to Christianity as a whole? Well, I'll tell you. The Bible says, go into the other ends of the world and spread the good news. And our contribution to Christianity is that we're going to spread the good news in a field that's never been done before. There you go. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Go ahead. Uh, my name's Mike, and I just like to say, even though most heavy metal stinks, you guys are all right. All right. <laughs> you got a good audience out here, Roy. Real, real fast. Let's go ahead. My question is for you guys. Um, how hard was it to, for you guys to get on the record level? Because it's, it's a sad state for our music. Half a minute, guys. It's probably easier for Ozzy Osbourne. Okay, yes. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, usually it's hard, but with God, all things are possible. And it's like you pray and it Let's end on that. With God, God all things are God possible. All right. God bless all of you. Thank I'll you. see you next week. Thank you very much. Come on, everybody. <laughs>